Welcome back for another video. Before we begin this video though, I just want to let y'all know, Barrio Tales hoodies are now available. Red, black, purple, orange, and blue. Cash App and PayPal how you can reach me. They're only $25 with free shipping. Don't just look at it, wear it. T-shirts are also available still. All you gotta do is hit that Cash App and PayPal that you see right there. Thank you. Welcome back for another video. Today's video will be about Michael Pebley, better known as Triggs. Triggs was born on February 28, 1974. Triggs was born in Tahunga in LA. As a member of the MSK crew, he rose to fame for his pieces in the 1980s. He was arrested for the first time during this time. Growing up, Triggs would join the Tunerville gang in Northeast Los Angeles and the Atwater Village community. Like many gang members, Triggs had a rocky experience with life in and out of jail, but Triggs would soon find his calling. Triggs had a talent with art. His unique art style had him in and out of jail since the 80s, but it made him one of the veterans in the graffiti world. Triggs would soon transition into tattooing. Triggs was greatly appreciated, especially in the hip-hop scene. His most prominent clients were Wiz Khalifa, Chris Brown, and Travis Barker. Triggs ended up being a father of five. Tattooing would not be the only talent Triggs would evolve into. Triggs also was an actor. Triggs has worked on the screen career, appearing in movies including SWAT and music videos for a variety of artists including Mob Deep, Travis Barker, Blake 182, Yellow Wolf, Aerosmith, and Taylor Swift. He had also appeared in documentaries aired on the National Geographic Channel. Triggs became what he is commonly referred to as a celebrity tattoo artist. But in 2007, Triggs served four years at Ironwood State Prison and regained his freedom only in 2011. Triggs was also a body piercer. Triggs would go on to become a tattoo shop manager. On October 9, 2014, Triggs was at the Black Derby Smoke Shop in North Hollywood when he got into an argument with the man inside the shop. A stranger made a passing remark that upset Pebley. The argument escalated into a physical fight nearby Pebley's tattoo business, Sin City Tattoo Shop, that eventually ended in four gunshots in the heart being fired in front of the shop. The attack happened at 5.50 p.m. Triggs was gunned down, lying on the ground, when police arrived at the crime scene. Triggs' killer fled the scene in a white Honda Accord. Law enforcement was asking people for any information that could lead to the apprehension of the suspect. 19 days later, a 32-year-old man named Robert Andrew Falcon would be identified as a suspect and arrested. The case was investigated by the North Hollywood Division of LAPD. On November 17, 2015, Falcon admitted to using a gun during the fight and pleaded no contest. Nearly a month later, December 14, 2015, Robert Falcon was sentenced to 16 years in state prison after pleading no contest to voluntary manslaughter in connection with the shooting death of Triggs. Triggs was only 40 years old at the time of his death. Friends offered condolences to Triggs' family. Triggs' fiance, Honey Miranda, paid tribute to her slain partner by inking his nickname on the back of her neck. A GoFundMe account was set up to help Triggs' family, which raised nearly $17,000 in less than 18 hours. Michael Christopher Triggs Pebley is buried at Forest Lawn Memorial Park in Hollywood Hills in Los Angeles County, California.